Hey friends, my name is Roger and welcome to Lightroom Thursday where I offer a tip or technique on using Lightroom every Thursday. So if you have several images that you want to combine into one larger image, you can use Lightroom's panorama feature. This feature now comes standard in Lightroom, <laughs> no more needing to jump into Photoshop to accomplish this. The first step involves selecting the images that you want to stitch together. Now when shooting images, you want to try to overlap the content between them, maybe about 20% or so, and this makes it easier for Lightroom to analyze the contents and then blend the images into one continuous image. So once you've selected the images from which you want to create a panorama, you choose Photo on the menu, Point to Photo Bird, and then choose Panorama. And you can create panoramas from either the uh, library module or the develop module as well. So as you see, added photo merge panorama. That option is available here. So let's switch back to the library module. So I have these three images here, and these are the images from which I want to create a panorama. And I overlapped each of them by about 20% when I was taking them. So I'm going to press the command key on my keyboard. And if you're using Windows, you would hold on the control key. And you want to select all of the images that are going to make up the panorama. Then we choose Photo, Photo Merge, and Panorama from the menu. And this creates a panorama preview here in the left pane. So there are three options here to choose from, spherical, cylindrical, and perspective. Now most of the time, spherical will work just fine. I usually leave it on spherical. But you can experiment with the other two to see the effects that those apply to your image. But I'm going to leave mine as spherical here. So again, you want to click the one that most appeals to you and works best with your image. Now, as we can see, our panorama isn't perfect. We have a little white along the edges. Now, in the past, you would drag the boundary warp tool all the way to the right. We can see that it filled in those edges. This eliminates the white edges of the image without cropping. But the problem with this is that it does warp the photo, which sometimes can give you unexpected results. Another option is the Auto Crop feature. So I'm going to drag this boundary warp slider back down. I'm going to click the Auto Crop checkbox here. So again, this removes those excess white areas of the image. But note that to do so, it will crop out parts of the photo, which may not be what you want if essential portions of your image end up uh, being cropped. But if you want to remove those areas without cropping the image, then you may wish to give the Fill Edges option here a try. Fill Edges, and this is a relative newcomer to a Lightroom, and what this does is uses content-aware technology to fill in the edges. So this is a technology that's been available in Photoshop for quite some time now, so it's nice to see Adobe's finally bringing it into Lightroom. So yeah, the Fill Edges does a pretty good job of... Uh, filling those edges using the existing content on your image. So if you look at the left corner here, we can see when I click Fill Edges, it fills out with similar content. And the last option here is Create Stack. And what this will do is take the source images and the merged panorama and place them all in a stack after the images have been merged together. The merged panorama image will then display on top of the stack. But I don't think I want to create stacks. I think I'm going to leave this as is. So then we'll click Merge to create our merged file. And we can see it's working over here in the upper left corner. It takes a few moments for Lightroom to create the panorama. And it'll take longer depending on the amount of photos that you have. So Lightroom has finished creating our panorama. So if you don't see your panorama, choose View. Point to sort and then choose added order from the menu. So then if you scroll up all the way to the top, the panorama will be our first image. And we can see it added the name Pano to the file name, letting us know that this is a panorama. And here's our um, here's the panel that Lightroom created. So yeah, that is how to create a panorama in Lightroom. Did you like this video? If so, please click the like button below as that really helps people to discover the channel. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support and I'll talk to you all in the next video. Roger and out.